Yeah, just a quick tutorial on how to record a RCA to a HDMI. So basically, um, if you have an, like an older console like the Wii or like the GameCube or the PlayStation One or the Nintendo 64 and or something like the like, um, they only come with um, well, RCA. But see, your um, you put a camera, your red, your white, and your yellow. But most TVs, uh, most modern TVs, some of them don't have the inputs for red, white, and yellow anymore. So uh, you may be wondering, how can I record um, my gameplay footage um, using uh, HDMI? Well, they sell this thing here. I'll sh yeah, put, it, put it up to the screen. It's called a uh, HDMI upscaler. Basically, what it does is it uh, it takes your RCA, your red, your red, white, and yellow as your input, and it outputs it to HDMI, so 720p. And uh, put the camera here. Can I see that? Yep. So I see it, that's HDMI output. Outputs it to a uh, 720p or 1080p. So is this is uh yeah. So I in case you're wondering, I have I have no idea who makes it. I got this in my local electronics shop. It cost me about 50 bones. So it's not exactly a cheap solution, but it works pretty well. Basically, it's set up is very easy. This is what you do. So I ha I have the Wii here. This is the Wii. <laughs> so I'll pl so whatever. So like normal, you plug in your um, you plug in your cables like this. Um, so yeah. So and then the front here, you see the you see the red, white, and you you, you see here the red, the red, white, and yellow. So you plug in your red, your white, and your yellow. And then the back, you'll see the you'll see the here it is the HDMI. If I can focus on it. Yeah. Okay. The HDMI out. And so you take an HDMI cable and you play old whatever that you can find. You probably already have like tons of these lying around in your house. So um, you just plug it in, and that's and you you'll plug this in into your TV. Or if you have like a game capture device, like here yeah, I have the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, whatever. So um, you'll you'll plug this into your your capture device, your input, like this, and then you you'll, you'll get. It. So this is. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess with tangled uh, a lot of um yeah so so this is your input and this is your output and uh, it, most most of these converter boxes come with a, a an AC adapter some use USB but mine uses AC so whatever so then I just plug this into the wall and that's about it that's about all you do yeah you could um. You can also like do live streaming through like Twitch and stuff with this because like technically I mean a anything that could take a HD anything that could take a HD the signal can e is logically um, uh, stream to Twitch. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'll show you now what uh, how how the footage looks like in uh, when it gets upscaled. So the first game that we're going to look at is Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. It's uh, pretty good. There's uh, there's no noticeable audio or input lag. The picture is okay. I mean, it, it doesn't look too bad um, considering the upscaling, and it's perfectly playable. <laughs> the next game we'll be looking at is Super Smash Bros. Nintendo 64. Once again, pretty good. There's no noticeable audio or input lag, and everything plays as it's supposed to. The only thing is that the HDMI upscaler tries to upscale Nintendo 64 resolution to HDMI resolution, so there is a bit of pixel stretching and you will notice it, but otherwise it doesn't detract from the game whatsoever. <laughs> the last game that we're taking a look at is Grand Turismo 2 for the PlayStation 1. Like the previous mentioned game, this game plays well too. The only thing is the HDMI upscaling, but it did not detract from the experience and the game plays just as it normally would. This is just one method of playing older consoles on the newer television set. Thanks for watching and have a good day.